Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke chapter 4 today and verses 20 to 21. Let's read it. Jesus has just read from the prophet Isaiah and suddenly he stops. Here's what it said. Then he closed the book and gave it back to the attendant and sat down and the eyes of all who were in the synagogue were fixed on him. And he began to say to them, today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. <laughs> you can't say that. Who can say, oh, these scriptures are being fulfilled today. They're fulfilled in your hearing. This is the fulfillment of prophecy. And Jesus says it. He just says it. He just says, well, this is the truth. Today, these scriptures are being fulfilled. Jesus' ministry is the fulfillment of the prophecy in Isaiah 61, right there. In 60, right in there. The things that he's quoting from. So, notice again, he, he read part of the prophecy and he didn't finish it. Because, you know, when you read 19 and you keep on going, and it says, you know, and the vengeance of our God. But Jesus didn't proclaim vengeance. He just proclaimed the acceptable year of the Lord. And the people in the synagogue, they all kind of, you know, they were used to hearing that. And they were like... They, they like the vengeance part, you know? Uh, when God gets to his vengeance, he's going to wipe out those terrible Gentiles. He's going he's to destroy those dogs, you know? Uh, that's the part we like where he grinds them into paste. Uh, that was a misinterpretation. That was a misunderstanding of God's purposes. But here are the people. That's what the understanding they have. And Jesus stops because Jesus is there to deliver the captives. You know, he's, he's there to bring freedom. And so he stops and the people, the people hear that and they're like, like, what? You know, what's going on? Hey, hey, mom, he, he, he didn't finish reading the, the passage. He stops because that, that last part isn't coming up yet. Often your interpretation of scripture, sometimes we've got it all wrong. We've got it all backwards. And Jesus here proves them they're kind of messed up. Uh, they, they're, they're looking forward to the vengeance part. But it's not the vengeance part. That's not what Jesus looks forward to. The Bible even talks about the destruction of the wicked as God's strange work. God doesn't look forward to the destruction of the wicked. That he hates that, that he's going to have to be. But anyway, everybody's looking. Jesus says, today the scripture's fulfilled. You know what? Sometimes scripture's fulfilled. There are people who are alive when there are fulfillments of prophecy. There are people who are alive when God does something. We get used to this idea that, you know, like, well, God's not active in the world. God's not doing anything. Hey, guess what? God is doing stuff. And so, again, we've got to be careful that we don't have this assumption that God is asleep God doesn't take naps. God's on his throne, and God's ready to work for you in your life today. Let's pray about that. Dear Father in heaven, thank you for the fact that you are on your throne. You are working today. You have not stopped. You're not on vacation. You're not taking a nap. Thank you that there comes times when you intervene in our world, and we know there's times coming very, very soon when you're going to be intervening some more. Now, Lord, bless our, our lives. Give us your help. Help us to be true to all you have for us and be our helper, be our Lord. Watch over us. We thank you for hearing our prayer, Lord. We ask for these helps and we thank you for intervening in this world. And in Jesus' name, we give praise to you. Amen. May God intervene in your life and in this world today. God bless you.